In this video, I'm gonna show you guys an extension that's not only gonna make your Discord look way cooler, but it's also going to make you feel a lot more productive inside Discord. Without further ado, let's get into it. showing you guys is something called Better Discord, which is a extension for Discord that, as you can see, extends the functionality by enhancing it with new features. Some of the things you're going to get inside this plugin are things like themes where you can customize the entire look of your server. You also get plugins, which I thought the themes were going to be the coolest thing about this. But once I started looking at all the plugins they have to offer, there's so many not huge things, but small things that make your Discord just feel, and once you add all of them in together, it makes your Discord feel so much more fluid and productive. To get better Discord, all you're gonna do is simply download it right here and pick wherever you want it to download. And once it downloads, you're going to run the installer. I've already done that, so I'm not gonna do that for you guys. But after you run the installer, it's going to close your Discord and then reopen Discord. After it reopens your Discord application, instead of it just being di bare bones Discord, it's actually gonna be better Discord. It's not really gonna look different just yet though. Where you're gonna go to access everything is you're gonna come down here to your user settings and you're gonna notice right down here under your activity settings, you have a brand new tab of settings called Better Discord. There's a ton of different settings you can look through in this, but I'm not gonna spend much time on it because I wanna show you guys the best part of this, which is going to be number one, your themes. So by default, you're going to have, at least I, when I loaded it, I had four default themes already loaded into my application. And all you have to do is simply check the box and you're gonna see this basic background is like a really dark background that also gives it a nice little pink accent color on everything. Now, obviously, you're probably not gonna wanna use any of these default themes. What you're gonna wanna do is use some really cool themes. So if you come back over here to the or to the website, you can go to themes at the top and you can scroll through all these different themes that they have to offer. I mean, you can scroll for practically an endless amount of time. There's so many themes on here for you to choose from. So it's super easy to install one too. Let's simply find one that we want. Let's just use this top one right here. Um, what you're going to do is download the theme. The good idea is to probably go ahead and make a new folder for your themes. We can name this folder Discord Themes. And we're going to save this Clear Vision theme into the Discord Themes folder. Once it downloads, you're going to go back to Discord and you're gonna go back to your better Discord settings and your user settings and the themes tab. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna open themes folder. Ah, so what I didn't realize is they already have a theme for you. Um, so actually you're going to, when you open your themes folder, this is going to be the folder that you want to save your themes in. So what I'm going to do is copy the theme I just downloaded and just move it over to this folder. And just like that, it already popped up right here for me. So if you download it into a separate folder, just open up your themes folder, open up a new window of uh, your file explorer where you just downloaded it and just drag and drop it. It's that simple. And then once you have it in here, all you have to do is toggle it on. And just like that, Boom, that one actually looks really clean. And as you can see, it changes the entire look of Discord. This one's really clean because it doesn't have that giant blocks on all of my, uh, all of the text me text messages inside the channels. Um, I love the little dat, like the faded out dash that it does on the role names and the category names. It pretty much changes literally everything inside your Discord and it's that easy. You literally scroll through the huge list of themes that you wanna download, download one, put it in the folder, check a box and boom, you're set up just like that. Up next though, I wanna show you guys the plugins feature of Better Discord, which like I said at the beginning of the video, I think, I personally think this is one of the coolest things about this. The themes are super cool, yes, but all of these plugins, again, you can scroll for endless amounts of time. The plugins are endless, they never stop. 
Since I don't have all day to sit here and tell, show you guys every single one I think is cool, I'm going to show you guys a few, but what I'm also going to do is include a bunch of links of all of the plugins that I think are the coolest that you can download, and you guys can click on the link and it'll take you straight to the plugin to download, so definitely check out the description for that. But things like if you use Spotify for music, you have Spotify control, so you don't have to go into Spotify and change your music, you can do it right in Discord. If you have an issue with people's mics being really quiet, you can turn the volume all the way up to 400% with this plugin. You, this one's huge, split large messages. This thing that's super annoying about Discord is if you type out a huge message, you're gonna try to send it and it's gonna say, oh, this is too long to send. Then you have to sit there and delete a bunch of characters, copy them, paste them in your next message. Well, this right here, you type up your entire message, press enter, and it's going to automatically split it into three to however many different messages it needs to for you. You have one for when users are typing instead of just showing their name, it also shows you their avatars. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to actually install one of these plugins, just like I did for the themes. The process is pretty much the same. You're going to download it. Um, you can save it into the same folder you just made. There's gonna be a separate plugins folder as well. But for now, I'm just going to save it to this Discord themes folder I made so I know exactly where it's gonna to go to. And then we're going to go back to Discord. We're going to go to our user settings. And down here at the bottom where you see plugins, you're going to open your plugin folder. Once you open your plugin folder, you're also going to open the file. If you didn't already download it to your plugin folder, you're going to drag and drop it into your plugin folder, close them out. You might get an error popping up saying you need a library plugin. If you do, simply download it and it's going to download just like that. If the plugin you download makes you install a folder, you're going to see basically what it is, is this plugin is inside this person's library of plugins. So if you wanna use this person's entire library of plugins, you can toggle this on. If you just wanna use the one that you downloaded, simply come down here and toggle it on. And the one I downloaded is Game Activity. So now if you go to Escape, you're going to see down here at the bottom left, I have a button where I can disable it showing what game that I'm playing on Discord. When I click it, it's going to cancel it. When I click it again, it's going to enable it. I think that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this one though. Kind of a simple video topic, but something that I think was, something I found that was super cool and I thought would be really cool to share with you guys. Cause I think a lot of you guys might enjoy having something like this. It helps make your Discord feel a little bit more like your own personal space. If you guys did enjoy and you want to see more videos like this, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and drop a like to help spread this video to others. If you guys enjoy gaming content, I actually do a lot of gaming streams over on my Twitch. If you want to check that out, I'll have the link down in the description for you guys. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Peace.